Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I received a parcel and I really wanted to show you guys what I got. One of my little hobbies is um, colouring and I've been for the last few years I've been making do with quite small, um, a small amount of pencils. Um, so that means I haven't had a whole lot of colours and things to choose between. So yesterday I went ahead when I saw that one of the art supplies here in South Australia had um, a 30% off discount and they happened to have it on one of my favourite set of pencils, of colouring pencils, which is this one. So it is Faber-Castell. It is, sorry, I've got my ring lights trying to, trying to get it out of the light. There we go. It is Faber Castell. It is the Polychromos set, and I splurged and I got the 120 set, which is something I've been wanting for so long. Um, but since I had such a good deal on it, I thought I'd go ahead and get it. So I'm really excited. I'm going to open it up and show you guys. I can't wait to do some coloring with this. Okay, so here goes. Let's get the plastic off first. I'm just gonna put my little scissors. See if we can. There we go. Okay, so it is the 120 set, as I said. I'll show you the. Actually, I'll show you the old set that I have because I've got it right here. So I've just been colouring it for. So my other set is this one, which was only the 24. <laughs> so I'm not going to know myself um, when I... Um, and you can see that actually I've had these for a while and they last a long time. So I can still, I'm still going to use up these, but I have the other pencils to supplement with. Because this one's sort of lacking a whole lot of the pinks. Um, it barely got any, pretty much no purples in here. And only a few little blues and things there's got very little grace and stuff as well so there's a whole lot of colors that I've been missing um, and um, yeah I'm just really excited that finally I get to have a bit of fun so so yeah that was this one and I'll put it away and let's have a look oh my gosh <laughs> So, oh, holy moly. Oh, this is incredible. So, yeah, this is just sort of shows a bit of this history. So, I had to blend and things. I seriously, I love, I love this brand. It is amazing. Look at all those purples and oh my gosh, the pinks. Oh, I've been wanting that light magenta, that one there. I've been wanting that one for ages. Oh, there's so many. The ivory, I didn't have a lot of these. Oh, cadmium yellow is another one I've been wanting to have. Um, that one I've got in the other one. Oh, these are, oh, how pretty are they? They are so pretty and oh, seriously, these pencils, they are so pigmented. They are oil-based. So you'll find that when you're looking at colouring pencils, if the name starts with poly, usually they are an oil-based pencil. Um, and seriously, these are the top um, quality artist style pencils. So I'm so, so excited. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at these, they are so pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. All right, let's have a look at the one underneath it. So I'll put these, I'll put these to the side or just over here. Oops, I just pulled like half of them out. There we go. And look at these. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all those blues. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. All of the greens, 
and there's like you have them bright greens they also got those earthy earthy tones um especially like the books that i love to um to color in is uh, if you haven't heard of heard of her it's a scottish lady called um johanna basford and she does the most incredible coloring books and i just love her um so yeah i've been doing i've been coloring in her books for quite a few years now um but yeah i'm just really really excited oh that's so pretty oh i can't wait to do like ocean um water effects and stuff with all of these because i only had like as i saw the other one i had only had like three different blues um and they were like i think they were like these that one and that one i think i had plus like one of these sort of brighter ones and it just wasn't what i needed to get like the aqua um water effect so yeah and like all those earthy tones there are great because she does a lot of like forest um scenes and like garden flower scenes and garden scenes and stuff um in those coloring books <laughs> I apologize that's my three-year-old in the background he's having a bit of fun um so yeah oh gosh these are gorgeous look at those all right let's see the next one more sort of earthy <gasps> earthy tones like the blush um so the blushed pinks um earthy earthy yellows oh look at these this sort of um brownish sort of star sort of almost like in between a brown and a gray oh oh my goodness these are beautiful all of those gradients look at that just that gradient there in the in the grays imagine that for like rocks and things plus there are silver gold and i think that's sort of like a bronze sort of color as well so there's three metallics in there too which would be great for like doing like highlights um and stuff as well oh look at these i'm just gonna lift that one up as well i know this is the last one down but oh, how gorgeous how gorgeous are these so there, there we go you can see the metallic ones um oh they are beautiful what I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to put these back down again. I'll put this up here. I'm just going to grab. I got because I'm sitting here for colouring the four. I was just going to start a new picture actually, and then I had the knock on the door. Um, I'm just going to show you. I always got these little scrap bits of paper here. I'm just going to show you how you can sort of blend, um, blend with these. Just going to test out. Oh, I want to test out these aqua ones. I haven't these ones here so that is um light cobalt turquoise um and a uh, cobalt green so I'm like oh so let's see so i'd like to start with a darker one i just want to show you how insanely beautifully pigmented so like i'm hardly i'm barely putting any pressure on that and just the color is coming on so so smoothly also another thing i like about these pencils so the ones i've had before is the fact that they keep a nice sharp point for a long time i find a lot of the wax based pencils i do have a small set of also like prisma colors which is like one of the really popular artist wax based um pencils i just find that i have to sharpen them really really often <laughs> pardon my three-year-old that is home life for you so he is just practicing the alphabet at the moment <laughs> in the background he's just i think he's on the letter m by the sounds So they blend really, really well. I see, I've got a little, this one, a little blender pencils. So like you, what you can do is that like you can 
go all over that afterwards and just to really work work them together and you get you know so what you have on your paper is that you have this little bumps which is called tooth and what happens if you don't blend is that that tooth kind of shows through and since you start blending you're getting such a brighter such a brighter color because you're actually covering more of that tooth so look at that it's just a gradient so that's two different colors and then obviously you can sort of keep going with other colors as well oh my gosh these are beautiful let's see what other one can I test out i want to test out one of these pink ones um there's a salmon salmon color and there's a beige red i'm going to test out these together Excuse my nails at the moment. <laughs> I have not been able to get them done for absolutely ages. I got really thin, brittle nails. <laughs> and when I can't get them done, they just break. So. Oh, just the colour, it's just laying down so nicely. Let's see, I'm just gonna get rid of the blue on that blender pencil. And then, so what you do is you're sort of pulling the colours together. You can sort of pull them into each other, and it just makes. makes the transition so much smoother and you can and you can go over afterwards as well with more colors you can lay colors on top of each other and make different ones oh i'm loving these i'm loving these you guys they are beautiful they are so beautiful what other one which other ones can try i just want to try all of them i really do okay oh i want to try some of the grays so like a See, if I do like a light grey and like a darker, yeah, I'll see if I can get these two. So I'm just doing lines. There's so many ways you can. So I'm just gonna just start out sort of darker here, and then I'm sort of. lighten up the pressure a little bit more and then I start the lighter one sort of up here and then I can just sort of keep going So they're grading really, really nicely in between, in between the colors. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. That's like, seriously, these are, have been sort of my go-to pencils for such a long time. So this is the light magenta. So I'm going to do the light and the normal magenta because they're such you can see they're quite I've got one really dark one and the other one is really light this is a dark or this is a normal magenta so just grading it out darker at the top so this one was in my old set but this one I've been wanting for so long so again I sort of start this up together with the other one where I've gone down and then I just start 
continue, sort of pull it out and I just sort of start continuing out. You can even go like up here. Just want to see. But now I'm going to show you actually how I can blend. So I'm going to straight from the really dark to the light one. I'm going to just go a little bit harder on the light. So you can see there's still what a different sound. Then I go in with that. I'm just going to make sure I've got no other color on it. And then you just go over it like this. And you can see I'm pulling the colors together. Look at that difference. As soon as you start blending. This is where your colors. It just really brightens, brightens up your colors when you go blending afterwards. So if you do coloring and you're wondering why everyone else, like the professionals and stuff, get so much brighter colors, is first of all, they use artist grade pencils. Although that's not to say that you can't get good budget pencils there are plenty of, <laughs> of good ones but it's the blending the blending just really brings out the pigmentation and shows what these pencils really can do so <laughs> there you go I'm so so excited to be able to use these pencils. I truly am. And I thought I might do some little, um, like not just um, color alongs and um, and stuff like that, but sort of like almost like a meditation um, ASMR um, thing with coloring or something like that. If you guys are keen, because I think you know. Holistic living isn't just all about food. So holistic living for me isn't all about being healthy in the way that you eat. It's being healthy in your mind, um, being as healthy as you can in your body with the body you're given um, and doing things that can, you know, put you at peace and everything. So, uh, so yeah, I'm really excited uh, and I hope if you guys would like me to show you some um, some coloring, just do some uh, time lapses or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below um, and um, I'll be very, very happy to, to do some of those. Just put some music on and you can <laughs> just sit and relax and uh, color along or anything like that. So yeah. I'm really excited. So I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to see more um, of colorings, if you want me to do any ASMR um, videos with colorings and music, please let me know um, and I will get onto that. And um, in the meantime, please stay safe and I will see you again next time. Bye.